Hello awesome viewers how are you all welcome back to another video so guys today we are going to discuss do while and do until so in my previous videos you would have seen the looping concepts like for next and we have seen few patterns also right angle triangle inverse right angle triangle and a pyramid and inverse pyramid so guys today we will be continuing with do loops let me let us open an agenda for that so basically we are going for the do loops now in the do loops let us set an agenda agenda will be as simple as learning learning do while and do until first let me just write it here why we use do loops why we use do loops and second one examples we'll see of do loops Well, let me just save this as an agenda. Save. Let me just close this. Let me save as. Let me just save as agenda. Fine. Save this. Close it. In the agenda only, we'll be writing the first example. Like for uh, how do we use do loops? We'll write answer here. Like. How we were using previously to understand do loops a little bit. So do loops and do until they are used to repeat a block of code until the condition becomes true or false. If you see, if you see for loop, we iterate the for loop. We'll give a certain limit for a i or j loop, and we'll be iterating as long as we can. So here in do and do until we'll repeat a block of code until the condition becomes true or false right so that is when you are here uh, will not be aware of how many times the loop will this block of code might execute so let us write it here let it down so do while and do until looping statements looping statements you are used are used to repeat repeat a block of code unless and until condition becomes true or false block of code until the condition until the condition becomes true or false so i'll tell you with an example what is this condition um, what is the nature of the statement if it is true this many number of times we have to execute the loop if it is false this many number of times and other important thing is here will not be aware the point i'll just write it down as a point a we will not be aware the number of times the number of times we execute the code Okay, one. Okay, we execute the count. Right. So, why do we use do loops, do loops, and do until other looping statements, which are used to repeat a block of code unt until the condition becomes true or false? And point to note is we will not be aware the number of times 
we will execute the curl. Okay, let me just save this. Save the agenda. Let us go for a simple example of do loops. Let us first see do while and afterwards we can see do until. Let us see do while first. So here I want to type awesome view, right? So I'll be executing this code and I'll be incrementing the looping value in between. So let us uh, declare a variable normal. I don't declare, so I'll just put dim i. Yeah. Um, dim i, then I'll be assigning a value to i. Let us say i equal to 7. So now we'll write a do loop here. Do while. Do while a condition. Let us write a condition. Do while. Okay, I'll just take i as one, right? So I just want to go to post implementation. Um, let us take i do by i less than five, and I'll be writing my setup statement here. So I'll be just printing. I'll be writing temporary value, or I can print a value. You can just print a value. Hello, awesome viewers. Instead of printing a value, what I'll do normally, I'll be just writing a temporary variable so that, and then we can see the temporary variable and the value. So, temp equal temp ampersand, hello viewers. So, and here we have to increment the value of i. If we don't increment the value of i, the do one will always be less than five, and it will always be uh, incrementing hello of the viewers. And here we will give uh, VBLF so that awesome viewers should come on the next line. Let us increment the value of i, i equal to i plus 1. And then let's end the loop. So it starts with do and while. As you know, VBScript is not uh, case sensitive, so you can write do while in a caps and combination of caps and small. This is a condition here. And looping statement. Let us just type message box temp. Let me just save this or let me just save as. So do while let me double click do while so you can see i was one let me expand this for you if you can see it properly let me just keep this here so that it will be good for expanding so here you go Hello, awesome viewers. It is expanded properly. So I'll zoom it out. So let me just close this. I'll click on OK. Here you can now see. <laughs> we if we if we would have uh, missed i equal i plus one. I will just open the code for you. Here if we would have missed i equal i plus one, and the loops statement here, we would have definitely. Uh, <laughs> We have definitely made it as an endless loop, so it will be an infinite loop, and uh, and system it will be always printing hello awesome viewers awesome viewers awesome viewers, and uh, this will be instead of printing it, it would have been concatenating this entire statement always if we would have missed this. So do while well, we are we are always not sure that what some kind of code will go in one point or another. Let us see another example. For do while, so let me just uh, not delay this. Let me expand this. Let me say take the same example. Here, do while abuses the condition, right? 
So instead of using this, we can just try to get an equal to one of the condition. We can use more here. So for better understanding, we can use if clauses. So I just want to write if i equal to four, then you print, then you take temp equal to temp ampersand i. Then you write end if here, and I don't want anything else. So if file is followed by then, so it will not work if it is not there and syntax we have to follow, right? Um, so what will be the value of temporary variable? So temporary temporary percent i and I want VBM. So we are not uh, incrementing the value of i, right? Are we incrementing the value five? We are not incrementing, right? So, what do you think? I will always be less than five, so there should be an increment value. So, all we, let's increment the value of i. I equal to this is most important, guys. If you don't increment the value of i, it will go bananas. Anyway, just say we say this. We'll write do while example two dot vbs. Let us take uh, all files. Save. Let's take all files and save this. Close it. Double click it. So we got the value of i that is 4. Let me keep it here so that I, when I can zoom, you guys can see the code. Yeah, yeah. 4 is visible there. Let me just unzoom it back. And you might ask always, right? So what is the difference here? What am I seeing different? Why am I interested in this, right? Why am I seeing different? What is it different? You can see the value of i, it is declared outside of the loop, right? So value is always defined outside of the loop. In for loop, value is defined inside, right? In for loop, we give a certain limit. Here, we don't give a certain limit. Here you, you can see um, in this value, condition is checked, right? Condition is checked before entering the loop. Condition is checked here, i equal to less than 5 before entering the loop. And one more thing is there with, uh, with two val. So we are also using a if clause inside. And one more thing I wanted to show you. If I don't want to execute the loop i if you want to terminate the loop right i can just terminate it here if i is equal to four if i had exit do but it, it, you won't understand like what is happening here so let me just remove this remove this um let me just put it back here put it back here and what it does it it executes the loop uh, it doesn't increment it doesn't come here so we have to uh, we'll write one condition so instead of uh, writing it here we'll write if i equal to 3 right then we'll write one statement like exit Tap exit do and then I'll just save this right. I'll just save the entire code and uh, let me just remove the spaces. So let me see. So fine. This is visible, right? This is going away from the page. Okay, let me just save this. You will understand what is happening here. Just close it. You're forcing the loop to go out. 
Now you can see here, I'll expand it this for, for you to visible properly. I'll just put it down here. Let me expand the code. You can see only one, two, and three are printed. Right? It is not printing the entire thing. Only one, two, and three printed. What if what if I what if I remove what if I uh, I remove this? I I'll just put the comment right. If I put the comment, let me save this. Close it. Double click it. Now you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Let me just expand this code for you. Fine. Let me just close this code. Okay, guys, let's end this video here. I'll put these two examples in the description. And you can guys can let me know if you want more examples of do while. We'll get to know that or we'll implement it as in the comment section or maybe another video. Um, let us discuss do until in another video. Till then guys, if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you are new viewer to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Till then my awesome viewers, take care, have a great day. Bye-bye.